Hi, I'm Robert, the NY Drapery Guy, and in this video I'm going to show you traditional wall upholstery. There are many different track systems and panel systems for applying fabric to walls, but in this video to get started, I'm going to show you traditional wall upholstery. This is a general information video for people in the trade. Seamstresses, installers, interior designers and decorators to give you a general idea on how to apply traditional wall upholstery. So let's talk about the tools, most of which you probably have if you're already in the trade. You need a compressor, an air hose, a nail gun, obviously need a good staple gun. I got this one at Van Wick Upholstery Supply, Long Island City, Queens. The link for their website is on this page. And the general hand tools. So the materials you're going to need for a traditional wall upholstery job our wood lattice. This is about one quarter inch thick by an inch and an eighth wide. This you can get at a lumber yard like Dykes or Mensch. I would recommend getting it in a lumber yard over the home improvement stores. It's a lot cheaper, a lot more cost effective. You're going to save a lot of money. And you're going to need Dacron. This is half inch Dacron. This is also available from Van Wick. You're going to need fabric. So, when using fabric for wall upholstery, the general rule is if it's good for upholstery, it's pretty much okay for wall upholstery. You really don't want too much of a heavy fabric, like a really heavy wall upholstery fabric. It makes it difficult to work with. It should be a medium weight to lightweight, but it should still be a good upholstery fabric, nice and thick. Um, you don't want to go anywhere near vertical or horizontal stripes stay away from them they will drive you nuts also stay far away from velvets or ultra suede to get started they, they will drive you insane so you approach a wall upholstery job the same way you would approach any job a measuring job for shades or drapery let's imagine this is the door walking in this would be wall A, you start from the left and work your way around. So it's A, B, C, or one, two, three, however you want to do it. Okay, so we measured the room. We know how much fabric we need. Now you're going to hem it together. If you can hem it, I'm sure you know a seamstress. It will be more than uh, glad to do it for you. Get your fabric hemmed up. Mark it A, B, C, D. Top, I should say top of wall, panel A top of wall panel B, top of wall panel C, and so on and so on. So now you're ready to start the prep work. And the first step is to take your lattice and apply it all around the room, all across the top, all across the bottom of the wall, all across all the windows, all the doors. Okay, so we have our room completely framed out. We have ladder strip up to the crown, all around. We have ladder strip right on top of the baseboard, all around. We have ladder strip on both sides of the wall. Strip on this wall, strip on this wall, same thing in all the corners. You need a ladder strip on both sides. You have all your doors and windows completely framed with lattice. Okay, we have our room framed out with lattice. Now the next step is applying the Dacron. You're going to apply the Dacron in between the lattice. You don't want to cover the lattice. It's going to go in between from top to bottom, in between from side to side. And you're just going to staple it in. Staple across the top, staple across the sides. If you need to piece several pieces together, you staple down and then add the next piece and go along.
our window. Okay, our uh, mock-up room here is all prepped and just about ready for fabric. We have our lattice strip all around, all around our windows, all around our doors. We have our Dacron all up to the lattice strip. The only thing we didn't do right here is show how to do outlets and things like that. I'm going to do that uh, in a different video for time's sake because it is uh, a little complicated so I'll, I'll shoot a different video, a separate video to show you how to do that. Okay, our room's all prepped. Our lattice strip is all around. Our DAC crown's all on there nice. Now we're ready for the fun part. We're ready to start putting on some fabric. Okay, so we're going to start with wall one or wall A. You're going to take the panel that you prepped and you're going to make sure you have the top correctly. Um, when you prep these panels and you seam them together, it's a good idea to um, press down about a one inch lip uh, to give you a nice guide of where you want to put your the top of your fabric. So the first thing we're going to do is going to base this fabric out. We're going to start at the top. Okay, so we're going to start on top. We're going to base the fabric out, make sure it's laying correctly, make sure the seams are falling where we want them. Um, if you're old school, you can use black tacks, or the easiest thing to use probably would be some push pins. So we're going to start on top, get a general idea where the middle is. Be good if I had push pins and actually worked. It would be great. Okay, so if you're going to use push pins, use the um, the silver ones. You know, the big silver ones. They're they're nice and sharp. Not these little uh, crappy little blue things that I have. Uh, they don't work. They're no good. So we're gonna um, use black tacks. We're gonna go back to black tacks. Okay. So what you really want to do here is you're just checking to see if the fabric's falling correctly, if the seams are where you want them, the seam placement. Make sure everything's lining up good. You don't want to start stapling on top and then realize, you know, you're off to the left or maybe off to the right or the left or the right, whichever way you want to go. That's the right, that's the left. You don't want to find out after you start stapling that you need to adjust your fabric. So you base it out, black tacks, push pins are easier, and you get a good feel. So now our fabric is good. Uh, we're going to take a look at this side of the wall and see where the fabric ends. You can use a reference point in the fabric. For me, I'm just going to use this edge of the diamond to make it easy. You can put tape on the fabric. You can put a pencil line right inside where the fabric is supposed to start. So now we're going to take this down. We're going to tack it backwards to the other wall, and we're going to start a back tack on this wall. Okay, so now we're going to start a back tack. If you're in the trade, you know what a back tack is. Okay, we're going to uh, start with the back of the fabric, and we're just going to I'm going to use the salvage here to make it easy. all the way to the top and as close to the edge as possible. That's going to give you a nice, sharp, clean edge. 
start from the top, work your way down slow. Just a couple of staples at first. Okay, so our back tack is complete. So now we have a nice clean edge going down and a good starting point. So now we're going to pull the fabric across. Now on an actual wall upholstery job, you probably want to base this out again with, with uh, tacks just to make sure everything's laying right. But for the demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and start uh, stapling it down. So now, if this was an actual room, we're going to have seams. So we have a plumb line. If you don't have a plumb line, you could tie the string to anything, a screwdriver, a, a wrench, anything, something, anything with weight on the bottom. So you're going to tack this plumb line at the top of a seam. For the demonstration, we'll, we'll say there's a seam right here. So let's say, for demonstration's sake, well actually you can see it on the pattern, I don't know how good you can see it there, but let's say that the, the seam is off a little, it's coming down, the line, the line is telling you perfect, perfect vertical. So the seam is off, it's going to the left a little. So you come to this, to this side and just pull it, kind of just grab the fabric and pull it in to get it taut. When you have it lined up, throw a couple staples in. Okay, so you're lining up your seams. That's really like the most important thing. You don't want a seam, just like if you were doing drapery, you don't want a seam to be crooked. You don't want the seam to, it's going to look crazy. So the seams have to line up. So pull on the edge to straighten it out. If you have to, when you come to the bottom, where the seam is, pull it a little bit, tore it, and give it a tack. Go across, pull it a little to the side. And that's how she goes. So our walls all stapled down. Now we just take our razor and we clean up the edges, top, side, and bottom. Okay, our first wall is done. We're moving on to the next wall, wall B or two. We're going to repeat the same exact process. We're going to start a back tack in the corner, pull the fabric across on top, and do everything we did on the first wall on the second wall.
So wall two is complete. We have our back tack. We brought our fabric across. All that's left, we're going to do the same exact thing on wall number three. So there you have it, traditional wall upholstery. I'm going to show you how to complete the wall on the fourth wall in a separate video. It's a little complicated, so I'm going to dedicate a video just to that. So be sure to subscribe to my emails or follow me on social media at NY Drapery Guy. So thank you for watching my introduction to traditional wall upholstery. Any questions, use the contact form. I will love to help you out and answer your questions as soon as possible. Also, anything drapery related in New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, you need help installing, measuring, repairs, drapery cleaning, uh, you can also use the same form to reach me. Thanks for watching. Happy installing.